I wanted to give you guys an opportunity to share some of your favorite moments from Attack of the Show, from Name Your Price, from all the different things that I made, uh, Donna. And uh, we'll do a little clip show, not too long, a little bit. Cutie kills Donna. One time, my aunt gave me a used uh, item from her bedroom. <laughs> no. <laughs> Cutie, no. What was it? What is it? It's just an item from her bedroom, and that was the worst gift I ever got from my aunt. Did this item vibrate? <laughs> no, Kitty, no! What? <laughs> no! Wait, 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 I'm just, I'm just so confused. Why did your aunt feel entitled to give her, like, used... Why did my aunt feel entitled? <laughs> <laughs> Was it at least clean? I think it's just, you know, the environment. What holiday was it for? I pray to God she gave it to you for Easter in a fucking little basket with a chocolate egg. <laughs> no? So, so the truth of this clip is Donna was Cutie's aunt. But because this factoid she dropped was so insane, my improv brain didn't kick in, and I thought that she had a wacky Mormon aunt who had given her a vibrator, and I lost the plot. I, I completely fell to pieces immediately. Wow, this sketch was a lot, and I'm surprised we made it, but let's take a look at a, uh, one of our <laughs> lesser known sketches, cake or butthole. This is a cake. This is a human butthole. What? I honestly cannot tell the difference. I'm sorry, what show is this again? You all claim to be able to identify the difference between a cake and a human asshole. But today we put that to the test. But is it cake or is it butthole? I just can't tell. I think he's onto something. I was told that this was Cake Boss. If you all successfully identify the cake, you each win $50,000. But if even one of you guesses incorrect, you all have to eat the butthole. <laughs> Wow. How is this legal? This is a cool show. At first, I thought it was obvious, but the more that I stared into both of them, uh, they really both look like buttholes. This might be the butthole. Well, it's okay. the right size. For who? <laughs> it's just like a butthole. Has no one here actually seen a real butthole? They're both glistening. Oh, look with your stupid eyes. It's too symmetrical to be a butthole. What are we giggling <laughs> underneath? I thought this was going to be easy. I'm not eating a fridgy four again. Do you guys stay and watch if they eat it? <laughs> this guy wants to eat butthole. This item that you identified as a butthole is actually cake. Are you? <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> what? God damn it, why do they both look like buttholes? They both look delicious, so it doesn't really matter to me. Oh, I'm gonna fire my agent. I fucking hate all of you. Welcome to Is It Cake or Is It Butthole? Yep. Oh, yeah, wow. That's yeah, that was, that was a sketch we did. Here's a sketch. Or, or a clip that people love. Here's one of my favorite clips from Donna. This is when Caroline Kwan called in. And uh, for those of you who don't know, Caroline Kwan is my lady friend. Oh, let me just say, I never knew who was calling in. So they sprung this on me and identified, I identified who it was pretty quick. And, and shenanigans uh, followed. Hi, my name is Caroline. I'm 29 oh. and I live in LA. All right, Caroline, 29. How you doing? Okay. I'm great. I just want to start off by saying that you are so iconic. Yeah. I'm a huge fan. Yeah. You're, You're not... like a sexier Elizabeth Hurley. Oh my gosh, if I had a nickel for every time I heard that, right? <laughs> I'm sure. I'm yeah. sure. Yeah. Um, so I listen, I need your advice because sure. I'm not trying to brag. I have this amazing relationship. Right. I've been with my boyfriend for five years. Yeah. We live together. He is unbelievable the funniest mm. person i've ever met yeah. besides you sure my problem is that there's one thing he does all right and it is not <laughs> put the toilet seat down yeah. and okay it's, <laughs> it is you know it's really driving a wedge between us because picture this it's 3 a.m you wake up you've had that glass of water before bedtime you have to go pee and you're walking to the bathroom, the lights yeah. off, it's dark. 
You're trying to, you know, you're half awake, half yeah. asleep. You're not turning the lights on. You go to sit down on the toilet, except there is no toilet seat because it is up. It is not down. Yeah, he sounds like a real piece of shit. You should leave him. Yeah. <laughs> now, listen, you know, we all have our picadillos. Some people leave the toilet seat up. Some women allow hair to collect in the shower into big, weird, amorphous globs that they stick on the glass wall and you have to look at it every time like some kind of creature out of a Lovecraftian horror story, right? We're all guilty of something, Caroline, aren't we? I, I feel like you're equating those two things. I am! Like, you know, I, I am <laughs> Maybe that who... toilet seat's retribution, Caroline! Well, I How do you feel about that, man? Do you have a... a fight? But you know what? I've got some other things I can bring up as no, well. No, 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 no. That's great. We'll stick with this issue. Mia, how do you deal with Rich leaving the toilet seat up? Uh, uh, I have a lot worse problems. <laughs> yeah, why don't you tell her about it so maybe she feels grateful about her boyfriend? <laughs> I think it's the worst thing in the world. You have to pick and choose your battles, okay? Yeah. He could not shower. He could not Ooh. change his clothes. Oh, my God. He play Magic of the Gathering all day long. You hear that? You know? Your boyfriend could pick up magic like this. Don't Rich is calling him all the time magic. saying, let's play Commander deck. Probably. I don't know. <laughs> See, I how do you deal with putting the toilet do seat down? The gathering 24-7. Oh, yeah. Would, Wait, yeah. listen to Sia. Sia, Caroline, what are you doing? Uh, do you uh, can, seat you, down? can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Yeah. I, I'm, listen. I'm here. Uh, this is an absolute deal breaker. The reason why you're not with a real man is because a real <laughs> man would be optimized. A real man wouldn't need to piss. A real man eats his macros perfectly measured and doesn't need to urinate. He doesn't need to shit. Uh, you're not <laughs> dating a real man. You need to break up with him and you need to find a more optimized, uh... Jesus, okay. Yeah. You think you can do that? Do you have trouble finding men? Um, no, I mean, I could probably find a man, you know, I step outside and find a new boyfriend, yeah. so. Yeah. You got to find a top yeah. G, probably someone who drives a Bugatti. Isn't that right? Oh. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, All right, well, Caroline. I, I, you know, I, I didn't expect that I'd end up with a new boyfriend here, but Sarah, are you single? Um, <clears throat> I am, uh, I'm actually, uh, I'm pregnant. <laughs> And That's I'm adopted okay, and left-handed, so it's just not gonna work. I, I, uh, I'm amenable. I, I mean, listen, I've lived with a guy who doesn't put the toilet seat down. All right, you've had enough so. help, goodbye. That was, that was so much fun. You know, the most flattering thing about that clip in particular is how many people thought we like premeditated that or like we pre-wrote that. Uh, I had no idea Caroline was gonna call in. Uh, that was all improv. And, um, I, you know, that was one of the most fun moments of Donna. And uh, I want to talk about man. I, I, I fucking love that moment. I'm going to show one of my favorite clips. This is not a Will Neff clip. This is a case clip. I think this is one of the best <laughs> segments we ever did. This is called heavily used Elmo. When I was born, my mom bought two copies of the same stuffed animal. This one she kept pristine in a cabinet. And the oh, other yeah. one, <laughs> play with. Oh my God. Come on, yeah. come on. Thank you, Effin Woodchuck. But that, that's not the, the, how it started. It started to deteriorate and you could see it happen. That's correct. It didn't yeah. happen overnight. Right. You just had that thing and you let that kid get it dirty in the dirt. Yeah. You let him rip it apart, you let him take it to school, let him take it to daycare. Yeah. Probably had to dig it out of the fireplace at one yeah. point. Sure. Come on. Let it ride. Find the cutoff. Do you remember when Elmo wouldn't shut up about that rock? Now he's uh, apparently into a different kind of rocks. <sighs> yeah. it, is, it is hard growing up on the streets of Sesame, I have mm. heard. Mm. I have heard, and we are making jokes. Thank you, Gak, okay, underscore. Are. But that Elmo has apparently blown up on TikTok Whoa. since the video dropped. He's getting a lot of attention. What? It's huge news, and we called in a friend favor or two, <laughs> and we were able to get that Elmo for a remote interview right now, live from Samantha's storage attic. Ladies and gentlemen, heavily used Elmo. <laughs> Hey, Elmo, uh, <laughs> Elmo, are you doing all right, buddy? Oh, yeah! Elmo has never felt more alive, Kevin! Okay. okay. Creed, you want to ask him anything? Because I don't really want to... Just <laughs> great. Creed! <laughs> so good to see you, Creed! It's, it's, oh, it's something to see you. Uh, oh, yeah! 
just, we just want. Jesus oh. We love you too, bud. Uh, we, we, we just wanted to make sure you're not, you know, like, like dying. Love your stuff. Keep oh, it up yeah. Fancy. Elmo knows people were shocked Thank you so to much. see a more adult, sexy version of Elmo. No, that's, that's not what anybody thought. Like, you know, all that. aging kids entertainers, Elmo now has a sexy, grown-up look, like when Miley got into rap. But I'm not afraid to show more stuffing and inner eyeball. Ooh, yeah, <laughs> look at me go. Yeah, we can. Go. You can really see the inside yeah. of his eyeball, Creed. I don't know if he's. Yeah, you can like see what you see, Creed? You can see it. And you found that this thing look. Ooh. <laughs> Is he dead? Is he dead? I don't, I don't, I don't like what's happening right now. And put it in the, like, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot. <laughs> Elmo, you're. <gasps> You found that this new look hasn't stopped you from finding work, Elmo? Oh, <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> Elmo getting so many roles. Oh, you're like, getting, wait, Elmo, you're getting lots of roles right now? Yeah, Elmo yeah. getting lots of roles. Like what? Like cutaway shot after airplane crash to imply death of child. <laughs> <laughs> disturbing ruined childhood toy and murderous perverts closet. Oh. Big adult yeah. sexy roles for sexy Elmo. Yeah, I'll go, okay. <laughs> <laughs> do the curve arms, do my curve, come on arms, do this, curve arms, yay! <laughs> that's the best I can do, sorry. <laughs> no, Elmo, that's great. Uh, uh, listen, I'm not trying to come down on you. I don't think Creed is no, either. I, we're just, we are a little bit worried about your health. Yeah, okay. it, it looks like maybe parts of you are, are falling off. That's right. Yeah, just a little bit. Don't worry, Elmo bought a bunch of healing crystals. Oh. You see, Kevin, my Medicine is a lie. Okay, Elmo. <laughs> we don't need to broadcast that. Elmo's body can no. heal itself oh, yeah, if wow. Elmo, Elmo visualized cool. being hey, healthy. Thank you, Ape Man. That's why Elmo drinks lots of silver every morning and takes plenty of healing salts. Oh, no, hey, no, no. No, Elmo, no. Elmo. Elmo, no. Not on the show, No, Elmo. No, that is not. Oh, I'm supposed to be a role model, like Elmo. Elmo! Ah, the red Elmo is on Mick's Jagger, look like a wind New England's Big Bird. Elmo will live forever! Elmo will live forever! Elmo, no! Elmo! Hey, cut the, cut the, Elmo, cut the feed. He can't even find his lens. Get him out of here. Cut the, thank you. He's off the rails. Thank he's you. The rails. No, he's on the rails, and that's why he's off of it. He's on the rails. Okay. I am so sorry. How's the view count? That is one of my favorite sketches we ever did. That is so fucking stupid. I love it. Uh, here is another clip. I don't know what one this is. It's a trend between the trend of pegging and a trend of fly fishing. Wow! What kind of show am I on? This is the best show on TV. What do you mean? <laughs> what are you? You never enjoyed a good peg? I actually have, Donna. You pegged? Yeah, I have. Who'd you peg? You pegged Rich? She didn't answer. You know what? I've heard that story, Whoa, actually. Hey. I've, heard, I've heard that story. Wow! It was a lot more loose You could have just expected. said no, but, uh... <laughs> so, you got some experience pegging. How do you feel about this correlation? Do you think that fly fishes are pegging? <laughs> That was awesome. Someone also sent my favorite sketch that I ever did at G4. Uh, this is Lenny Dale. If you guys ever saw this, this was my favorite sketch I did there. Check this out. Uh, seeing ads being run from, uh, I think we have a clip. Do oh. we have the... the... Let's go. Come on down through May 31st for Lenny Dale's all emu pet shop going out of business. These gentle giants make the perfect pets. Isn't that right? Come here. I have, frankly, an absurd amount of inventory. And I don't care what you've heard. Emus are basically harmful. They're just big puppy dogs with razor sharp beats. Perfect to teach your kids to stay vigilant and never trust too much. God, I sensed you, you son of a bitch. Clever girl. Come on down through May 31st. For prices so low, I will. I will fucking pay you to take one, please. I am outnumbered. 
And I don't know how much longer I can hold out. Oh, oh God, it's in heat! Oh, God, help! Oh, Jesus! Wow. Wow. Yeah, there's a BOGO. I'm going to head there right after the show. <laughs> the emu's wearing all black. Does that mean it was an emo emu? Uh, yeah. She did it, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I'm Lady Dale again, and I pivoted from emus to bees. Whoops a daisy, it didn't work. So come on down through June 22nd for Lena Dale's all bee pet shop going out of business sale. Oh, God, the smart of the world. I forgot to research how to store bees. So loose in a big room. Come on down with a net or a mason jar. Some take many bees as you can, please. Oh, God, there's more. Why do they only stick me? I'm pretty sure bees are valuable, but I'm too tired to figure out how it works. They've somehow aligned with my remaining stock of emus, and I think they plot my death. Oh, God. Oh, God. The bees have formed into the shape of an emu with a mason. Why do you need to be watched? Poor guy. Is he dead? He's got to unload a lot of bees. So many animals and Jeez. insects. Yeah, well, it seems like a dangerous business. I wouldn't want to do that. Full disclosure. Yes, please. We're not sure if the lady in this next video is actually a wolf expert. You don't say. When wolves greet, they will want to lick inside your mouth. Oh, it's God. Normal for them. I like this. this. I forgot about this clip. Oh, I like this. Oh. No. If you can tolerate it, you should allow this, okay, you're good as they boy. will trust you more and can learn everything about you as a person. Ew. Oh. What? Ooh. Relax, they're French wolves. <laughs> do, well, I do wonder though, do wolves make good pets? <laughs> Actually, no, they don't. Huh. Oh, uh, why do you say that? Oh. Local pet shop owner, Lenny Dale. Oh. Everyone, it's Lenny Dale, and you guessed it, I'm going out of business again. But this time, it's by choice, as I pivoted to selling wool. And they're selling like hotcakes. But you guys are buying them for the wrong reasons. Stop f***ing your wolves, people. These are wolves. These are intended to be pets only. This is insane. I shouldn't have to be making this video. Anyway, come on down now through July 17th to Lenny Dale's All Wolf Pet Shop. For prices so low, you'll be hollering at the moon. But only if you're trying to Love buy you, these man. animals as a pet. I <laughs> Thank did. you. Wolves are horny. Super horny. DTF, 24-7. But you got to set a good example for these wolves by not fucking them. <laughs> Shouldn't be that hard. I should be able to stay in business, sell some wolf. <laughs> Guys, I'm not pot blocking I'm trying to get you in a good home, you wild animals. You shouldn't be fornicating with human beings anyway. Oh, hell, you woke up the bees. And the bees are waking up the evil. Oh, hell no. Where are you taking me? Oh, God. What am I witnessing? A frenzy of bodies. I can't even explain. My mind is breaking under the weight of the madness. It's like H.R. Gaga directed Caligula. Half of my characters died after their first appearance. Elsa's died on the show. So oh, That's almost five, six, seven people that have died. Kassim, Kassim, we yeah, gotta shut the show down. That was, that was the best bit we've ever done on the show. <laughs> I'm gonna miss Lenny Dale. If only he probably had a twin brother or something we can use next week. <laughs> Lenny fucking Dale, man. Incredible. This is a great Lube Chef clip. I'm still in my Name Your Price gear. Check this out. You can never mm. have too much of a good thing. Really? Ever. Oh. 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 Jesus Christ. Oh. A full jar of Nutella. <laughs> oh. I think that croissant had too much Taco Bell, Kevin. Oh, okay. Oh. Well, that's what happens if you don't express the anal glands of your croissant. Oh. You have to... Oh. You gotta do it routinely. No, 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 Kevin! Wow! Yeah. It's the Lube Chef, uh, Kevin! Yeah, well, I know who it is. I know. I know. It is. Anal glands is one of the phrases that summons me, Kevin. Thank you so much for bringing me. Oh. Yeah, that's his catchphrase. Yes, also you. I didn't know that. I noticed of a barely stuffed croissant. 
barely stuffed Lube Chef. That that was like a pocket dimension of chocolate. Oh no, we nef. <laughs> like I <laughs> Chef in the bathhouses of Berlin. Oh. You can always stuff in more. Oh. oh. I don't. That is a Berlin. That is an why odd training I have room. prepared very special today, the endless croissant. Oh. It is stuffed with more chocolates than you could submerge a fully lubed rugby team in. What? Yes. What? I'm not. Does that track for anyone? Because I'm not oh. sure I know what that is. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Kasim seems to get it. Listen, looks can be deceiving, Kevin. Uh huh. <laughs> So let's tear in and see what's inside. I don't know that we should, Lube Chef. We should. I don't know, Lube Chef. I don't think we should open it. Oh, the chocolate. What? Oh, that's not that bad. I don't. Oh, it's. There's like a nice. little. It's a grower, not the shower. Give it to me. <laughs> okay, yeah. Oh, no. oh, wow. That's starting to look worse, Lube Chef. There's lots of chocolate. Oh, God. Oh, it's... <laughs> it sounded like someone might have popped a champagne cork oh. to celebrate. <laughs> I'm just gonna take a peek back here real quick and make sure everything's okay. What happened? We do? Okay. Do we hundred percent. Yep. Okay. Everything's fine back there. So if you didn't hear, there was a second explosion there. That is the noise I make when I release pressure from my body. None of the expensive, expensive electronics are coated in chocolate right now. Everything is fine. you at home? We have a. Chocolate. We sure did, and, and that uh, popping noise you heard was a chocolate exploding. <laughs> uh, Loop trap, is this is this how it went down? In this the... is exactly what I planned. Oh, okay. <laughs> it was a of chocolate flowing out of yeah. this at an explosive rate. And so this anticipation is all yeah, part yeah, of yeah, the yeah. process. Yes, I use only the sickest water-based chocolates. Uh -huh. They seep extremely slowly. <laughs> yes, I love it. Hey, question, Loop <laughs> Chef. <laughs> I just you thank you so much. Much longer to see if that croissant's gonna flow again, because it almost looks like it is. Oh, uh oh. Actually, this is slightly more chocolate than I was anticipating, Kevin. Let's <laughs> just before I make a big mess, I'll get out my wipes and oh no! Oh. I forgot that I already <laughs> used these to clean up the last. Oh no! Mess. Oh no! Oh, okay. No problem. I have the backup plan. Okay. Use my little weapon. Oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> Chef. Oh, forgot that I stuffed this with chocolate. Thank well. you, Shane is classy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what are we gonna do, Loop Chef? It's really getting everywhere now. It's my fault I'm going to cause a flood if I'm not careful. Yes. I must become the croissant. Oh no, oh, Loop Chef. I don't. <laughs> show. Loop Chef, don't be a hero. Oh. <laughs> that was the pump exploding again. <laughs> oh. Another tragic fight for me. This is, I feel like this is exactly how you wanted this to go, Loop Chef, with all of you watching whatever this is. What are you yeah. talking about, Kevin? Loop Chef is here. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. this is the proudest moment of my entire life. I bet it is. Uh, Loom Chef, everyone. <laughs> Thank you, Loom Chef. Do you wanna, you wanna bite of the croissant? Oh, oh yeah. okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> so just to fill you guys in, to make it clearer, um, we had an incredible, uh, like a prop um, fabricator on the show who would make us all these insane props, right? And so he made um, like, a, like a pump that, pumped the chocolate out and it was supposed to, it was, the croissant was supposed to open up and basically oh, yeah, wow. the, the cool. chocolate was supposed to flood out and Lube Chef oh, yeah, was supposed wow. to desperately cool. uh, stop the chocolate. Yes, people are correctly identifying Jeremy. Um, and so the, the pump had like a kink in it. So instead of pushing the chocolate out, it just built up pressure. Seriously. It just built up pressure um, in the pump. And the first time we heard it, it exploded behind the set. And chocolate went everywhere. And I was just imagining the set covered in chocolate. And they were desperately trying to fix it. And they just kept 
having it explode backstage and I just couldn't get it together hearing this this chocolate pump explode over and over and over again backstage and I just fell apart. Uh, that's probably the worst I've ever broke on, on, um, <laughs> on set. Here's a Bill Scruff sketch. <laughs> you call that self-defense? Bill Scruff here. And today I'm going to show you how to defend your family with your family. Situation one, you're walking your kid. Pervert comes in, grabs the kid's hand. Surprise, surprise, give him the kid. Buddha's palm strike, transfer energy oh. into your child. <laughs> Disarming the assailant. Situation two, armed assailant. What are we going to do? We're going to use young Chaku. Grab your baby by the ponytail. Spin it around to intimidate him. Disarm him with a strike. Shatter his jaw. Maybe kill him with another strike. Your kid will have a shattered femur, but it's fine. Situation three, two perverts coming in, hot, classic, get the kid out of the line of fire, dip low, grab his d rip the d off, yo, disable him, kid comes in from outer space, grab the kid, Bill Stroff, family self defense. Oh, God, perverts! God, so dumb. That's amazing. You know, you, you never know this, but he sources real perverts for all those. It's videos. wild. They were taken yeah. off with that kid. It would have been yeah, gone. They were gone. Well, all right. Well, if you're worried about your safety while driving, cars with less features can actually be safer. Oh. Yeah. Someone tries to strangle you from the back. Put the seat down, then exit the vehicle. Hmm. Give me your money. <gasps> Don't move. Calm down. Okay. Okay. Don't you dare move. Give me your money. It sounds good. Uh, my money's here. My money's on the other side. Okay. Quick. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Calm down. Calm down. Mm. No. <laughs> it doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. Yeah. But if she cranks her window fast enough, it will cut a hand off. Not in Europe, because those things are going down like this. <laughs> way too slow. Just the way too slow. On. Yeah, you're going to come on. Oh, crush your hand, please. <laughs> so maybe that doesn't always work as intended. But do you know who's an expert on how to defend yourself in a car? <sighs> I oh, give you I one guess. I know this, guys. Bill Scruff here. <laughs> and today I'm going to show you how to properly defend yourself from an armed assailant in the back seat. Armed assailant slides in. Oh my gosh, he's got you. What do you do? Turn the tables and come up from behind with their dick. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's like tens all the way through chat. Oh, name your price. Oh, God. We haven't had any name your price clips. This is a great clip of Hassan. This is wonderful. This is, this is back from an era. It's, this is back from an era when, when mass shootings were not all that common in the United States of America. What? And this may or may not have caused a mass shooting. What the what? fuck, Hassan? <laughs> what, I'm trying am I not to enjoy to say fresh pizza, you dick. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Can we not what? bring oh. gun violence into it? What the fuck, Hassan? We're trying to have a good time. It's the 70s. We don't Sorry, have problems. Hassan. Sorry. Right. He may or may not be correct. <laughs> I am correct. He On January correct. 30th, 1989. Okay, that's okay. enough, Hassan. Okay. That's enough. We're good. I, uh, yeah, wow, Name Your Price cool. was fucking incredible, man. Name Your Price was great. Billy Nosh. God, Billy Nosh, we barely knew ye. <laughs> the thrill of victory and the agony of defeat, baby. Billy Nosh, we got it all. You had a chance to get a real snack. In. Technically, charcuterie has it all. <laughs> weird. You can put cumbers so in one. Weird. Oh, this is not stable. Oh, oh this is going to get messy. Oh, boy. That's going to be a mess. Get... <laughs> now, at this point, I was committed to the bit. And what transpired was me doing something dumb. Okay, okay. Oh. <laughs> That's pretty good. Really nice, baby. Look at his sneakers. <laughs> On his Adidas. Oh, no. Can we pan over to the mess? He got. So, this would be the first of many times that I really went all out. Here's some instant regret the next time I played Billy Nosh. It's time for you to decide who is the winner. Is it going to be Reese's Pieces? Is it going to be Sour Patch Kids? Let us know in the chats, respectively, right now. Let's get on, on the board. Guys. So I win this one. Oh. How does he always win me? Incredible. We are Billy Nah. All right. Whoa. And now they had this hammer with which 
I was supposed to smash the food, but I was worried the smash wouldn't be big enough, so I made another bad decision. Bring him over. Here you go, sir. Take your trophy. Really not. Really not. And as you can see, right when I hit these Sour Patch Kids, a plume of sugar sprays at my co-hosts. And I knew right away, you can see on my face, that I had fucked up. Okay, now the crew can't go out to dinner after. She got hit in the eye. Uh, I just, Is there a medic? Surely we have a medic. I blinded everyone. Yes. Um, I was flying so I was going everywhere. To say, let's watch that instant replay. I don't think we got it. I, did we? I. You let me know in the studio uh, room. They did. But they did. They're pulling it up right now. Uh, we had a system here. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> Sent it flying. All right, we are making. Josh rarely regrets things. He yeah. regrets that. We regret this. <laughs> and then the the ultimate Billy Nosh clip. Here you go. Here's Billy Nosh with uh, AEW superstar Adam Cole. And I was a little too excited that I won our game. This is compelling television. Compelling television live to you on Twitch and YouTube. This is it. No. Can Billy Knox no. send Adam Cole home? And that is it. That is it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Billy Knox just slammed. Kevin, Kevin, why does Will Neff keep breaking things on this set? He had no reason to. Yep, yep, old Billy went big. Dude, I, I wasn't supposed to do that, and I got an earful afterward because I, I actually broke the ground. In the studio, I uh, I put the I put the table through the bottom of the studio, um, and uh, yeah, oh, yeah, that was wow. that's for that's a, a good clip one. right there. Oh, here's a full blown sketch. This is Slarm Jarms. We got to watch the Slarm Jarms sketch. Um, I was th one of the most proud moments in my life is that someone made a Slarm Jarms sign to take to um to take to AEW. Um, and then we'll watch this, this uh, <laughs> lube chef clip afterward. Here we go. Late for work again, Samuelson? Sorry, Mr. Rochester. You're lucky I don't fire you right now, you weak, incompetent loser. Great. I'm clucking done for. <laughs> Get it together, you piece of shit! Snort into a slarm jar. <laughs> AW wrestler Adam Cole. Sorry, did you say snarf into a slarm jar? Don't make me repeat myself, you moron. Okay, what is that though? Is it food? Listen, throw the fuck up. Splat into a slam slow. You worry too much. We're talking slarm jar. I hate your face. Okay, so it is slarm jarms because you just said a different name. It's whatever he wants it to be, you little slammer. Jam a blum I mean, I just don't get what the product is that you're selling. We're talking about premium sawdust meat snack. The absolute best. So wait, so is it a dust or a meat? Both pressed into a tube that you slurp into. So it is like jerky. Don't ask stupid fucking questions. I told you to snarf into a slum jar. Less talking, more slurping. I want to slurp, I just don't know what slurping is. You. Yeah. <laughs> Damn old dad. Oh, oh God, I shit my pants. Oh, that's the slurp I'm looking for, baby. So, so slurping is shit in your pants. You shit your pants. You snort into a slurm jar. That sketch was 
pretty, pretty good, dude.